Ever looked at old family photos and wish you could restore them? Today, you will learn how to restore your old family photos and bring them back to life. Thanks to AI technology, it's super easy and it only takes a few seconds. Photos are like time capsules, aren't they? They capture moments that are gone forever, impossible to reproduce. They tell stories of love, adventure, and discovery. They're not just pictures, they're fragments of memories, personal histories, and a sense of identity, like this one. Or this one. But time isn't always kind to these precious photos. Scratches, fading, and discoloration are common as they age. You've probably got pictures like these, right? Ones that have seen better days where the colors have faded or the photos just got scratched up over time. It's so sad to watch these precious visual memories dim over time, but we can fix them with photo restoration. You see, photo restoration isn't new. For decades, skilled artists have been working by hand, using brushes and inks to fill in what time had eroded. They'd pour hours into repairing tears, brushing over stains, and delicately enhancing faded images. Their craft required patience and a steady hand, but the results? They brought history back to life in black and white, and sometimes in color. Then our technology got better, and we did the same thing. This time, instead of manually painting on a physical canvas, we did it digitally with tools like Photoshop. Fast forward to now, and the tools have evolved even more. Now we have software powered by AI that can analyze a photo's damage in seconds with a few clicks. We can do what used to take hours in just a few seconds. Scratches disappear, colors return, and what was once a time-consuming art becomes accessible to everyone. So how do we do it? First, you'll need an old photo, outdated photo, of course. Second, we need to visit this site. Now, this site will require you to sign in with a GitHub account. If you don't have one, don't worry. Just register on GitHub. It's free. Then you can sign in to replicate.com. If you're new to replicate, you can try it out for free, but eventually you'll need to pay. But it's not anything monthly. In fact, you just pay for what you use and most times if you're just doing a few generations, it'll only run you a couple of cents. If you plan to use this tool to make money off of it, such as offering photo restoration on Etsy for example, then this tool will pay for itself. You could easily charge someone 10 bucks or even more to restore old photos and only pay a few cents. Sounds like a win-win to me. On the flip side, if you don't plan to turn this into a money-making machine and just want to test it out, it'll be free for the first-time users. So with that being said, let me show you how it works. First, make sure you're in the playground tab. Then we need to upload our photo that we want to restore. This is where you'll upload your photo. Or if you wanted to, you could take a photo with your webcam. After you uploaded your photo, you can check HR if your input image is high resolution. Or if your input image has scratches, you can check the box with scratches. Next, click run. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? It was that easy. Now that we've brought these old photos back to life, let's make sure they stay that way for digital preservation. Think of the cloud as your photo safe. Upload your restored images to a cloud service. This way, they're protected from physical damage and can be accessed anywhere, anytime. But don't stop there. Make backups on external hard drives or USB sticks. And remember, technology changes, so update your backup methods every few years. That's why he demanded using actual glass for the memories instead of storing them on a closed cloud server. As for printing, you can use online services or just visit your local print shop to have these newly restored photos printed physically. If you want to step it up a notch and make a few extra dollars, why not sell this service on something like Etsy or eBay? Now I know what you might be thinking. Right? Obviously. Everyone knows that. Not really. There are still many people not technically inclined or willing to learn and there are still people out there who would just want to pay for someone to get this done. So try it out yourself. Restoring old photos isn't just about the visuals. It's about rekindling connections and memories. Imagine the joy on your family's face when they see ancestors in clarity or the emotion of reliving those vivid moments. This isn't just photo restoration, it's memory revival. And that's why services like photo restoration sell so well because they tap into human emotion. But check this out. You've seen how we can turn old photos new again, but what if we could take it a step further? Picture this, those same photos photos but they start talking sounds wild right well it's doable just watch this video here it's like stepping into a sci-fi movie but it's real and it's here and hey if you're into all this cool ai stuff don't forget to hit subscribe there's so much more to dive into and i can't wait to share it with you stick around we're just getting started